and welcome to Bonnet Cotero. Uh, today's reading is going to be about your career and finance aspects of life for the next little while, for April kind of thing, in light of all the big changes that we're all experiencing together in this universal experience. So, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of us may be focused on relationships, but a lot of us are focused on our, on our coins, too. So I felt like it might be a good idea to do a reading that was specifically on where we're all sitting financially. Okay, so we're looking at the Hierophant as being the surrounding energies to this. So um, this could be financially uh, spiritual development, um, approaching your work from a more spiritual standpoint, or it could be making a commitment to something in your work that uh, that you realize is necessary so let's take a look at the center energies well we're resting and that's good Leo because you know a lot of what we're what we're all going through is very taxing so if uh, if rest is the order of the day you should definitely sink into that as is clearing out what is no longer working with the page of swords well, we've got some mixed energies here um, in terms of kind of looking at the circumstances that are bringing you into the present. So um, there's some communication happening um, and uh, this, this could be, uh, I'm hearing possibly layoffs of some sort, which has forced you into a state of surrender that feels very much on the outside of things. And so obviously you're resting from this particular experience surrender is never easy leo uh least of all for you being a fixed sign once you've made a commitment to something um being put on the outside of that commitment that you've made is 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 very difficult for you and yeah this is the 10 the 10 of of wands which is the end of the cycle I mean you know this resting period you could see as being you know extremely necessary you've got the nine and the ten of wands here um, you know putting in a good fight you know to be there to actually be committed and so let's see where we're headed well we've got the six of cups here we've got the chariot I don't like to read reversals unless I'm guided to, um, so pardon me readjusting that. Um, yeah, this is, this has created a, a tremendous amount. Mm. Burnout, severe burnout. And it's, it's, it's just, it's, everything has crumbled the foundation is crumbling it may you know you may be kind of watching it in slow motion uh and this is where your enlightenment is going to come into play you know where you have to surrender control over these events that are occurring in your life that um you know that are happening literally simultaneously like i you know, this spread, I kind of like to spread into sort of the past or the the energies that are kind of on top that are really obvious and then the energies that are underneath the surface. Um, but I really feel that all told, this is this moment for you. And you are, it's like you're watching everything in slow motion. But at the same time, you're making a connection with the past, somebody in your soul family 
that's helping you sort of charge out of this situation. So let's see if we can get some, some clarity on these things here. Um, oh, so for the Page of Swords, yeah, um, things have come in fast. You know, things have happened fast, this, this whole situation. You know, who, who could have saw that? And it's like, at the same time, it's like this was the mad dash that you wanted to take before everything started happening. And so you're in this period of rest, you know, in this, you know, wondering if you're actually going to be able to move forward, if you're going to have the energy to do so. Something's going to carry you there, though. You know, um, it's not like you're, you know, like you're doing it unsupported in the future you will be supported by whatever you're reconnecting with from the past so let's see the hanged man yeah this is about trusting trusting the events and how they're unfolding for you and how how they will unfold and so the surrender surrendering your need to be in control surrendering to whether or not you feel left out it, it doesn't matter. It's like you're too tired. You know, you don't really have any other choice. So, yeah, you need to, like, really? Can we, can we say this just a little louder? The Nine of Wands? Like, look at this guy. You know? And you got him twice. Um, so, definitely rest, Leo. It's super important that you do that because you're going to have to move fast very soon. Look at this. So, yeah, it, this is about making a commitment. This is what you want to do. You want to make a commitment that you're spiritually aligned with, that makes sense to your soul. You know, that's going to resonate with knowing that you're making the right decision as to where you should be. Ooh. Okay, so. Oh my goodness. And could it be that it is a lover or some sort of partnership that the whole idea gives you tremendous anxiety, but you're going to move forward with it anyway? Yeah, and, and it's going to mean the world to you. You know, um, it's going to be the end of the old cycle of feeling left out and exhausted and oppressed. So let's get an idea as to what the Six of Cups is all about. Yeah, um, this is uh, either a maternal figure um, or a Taurus or a Libra. Um, someone who is, uh, who is quite feminine and who has an ease about them. Uh, the Empress trusts in the process. And so the Empress is going to, is going to help you plant new seeds of thinking. But you're going to have to get through some lies and some defensiveness in order to in order to be able to get on the chariot and you know this is about balancing emotions uh, there also could be a Sagittarius somewhere in the mix and they're going to bring peace. Or the lesson is to, is to find a way to find peace. And so moving forward, I wanted to go with the chariot again. Um, there could be a Scorpio. But really what this is all about is transforming a way of living 
because the way that you have been living it through your commitments so far has been exhausting and in the past you haven't been able to really trust the process because that's what you're becoming enlightened to now so let's see the tower what is it about the tower here and how can we get some more clarification on why we're seeing the tower okay because it looks like there's going to be a bit of a bit of a battle some sort of conflict about how oppressive the past has been and how it needs work and somebody has to somebody has to step into a role of leadership looks like you've got some some stuff coming up here Leo so you're gonna need the rest because these kinds of breakthroughs and realizations with the people around you can take a lot of your energy and I think that um, we're all coming into energies where you know we're fighting this these two feelings right here this sense of exhaustion and the sense of being restricted and held back, you know, stuck to home, all of that kind of jazz. I'm not going to take all of those. All right, so, but underlying the whole situation is hope. Ultimately, this is the bright light that's off in the distance but there is definitely process that needs to happen on a lot of different fronts by the looks of it. But really, once, you're, once you've transformed this dynamic of being exhausted and not re really being able to see anything past your work or your obligations, Maybe, maybe that's a little bit of it too, transforming your idea of what commitment actually really means. All right, so I'm going to pull a card from the Marshall McLuhan Distant Early Warning deck. He created this back in 1969. And it's a regular, well, not regular, but uh, you know, the traditional playing card deck that he's added a few sayings to. And it's also an opportunity for me to brush on my cartomancy skills, um, which is reading playing cards uh, for divination. So let's see what Marshall has to offer us today towards your situation, Leo. And what we've got here is visceral, the six of spades. For total experience, the Spaniard says, I know it as if I had given birth to it. All right. So the six of spades would be swords. Um, and uh, oddly enough, that's actually very similar to the six of swords in the tarot. And that is recovery. Uh, moving from more dramatic waters um, into something smoother. Uh, and, and it's something where you're not going to do it alone. Um, it's about reconnecting with your soul family and the people who you felt could carry you forward before, I think need to be revisited and needs to be transformed. So in terms of looking in the long view of the future, and where Leo is headed in the next little while. Pull 
three of the Lenormand. Why not? And what's the energies behind that? Wow, this card has been coming up a lot today. This is the Lily and suggests uh, a much more mature um, and graceful uh, kind of situation. So there we have it. There's the woman, the empress maybe. And then these are the clouds. So a little bit of confusion, but ultimately leading to legacy. So perhaps, Leo, there was a, a family business of some sort. Um, and that's what needs to be transformed um, so that everyone can move forward. But this tower moment has to happen. It's, um, it's possibly where you're going to be highlighted the most where this dynamic needs to go. No more. No more of this for Leo. All right. So thanks for joining me, Leo. Uh, if you find that this reading did resonate with you, um, I would appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And then uh, we can chat again. Um, in the meantime, I hope you're well, and I hope you did find this reading helpful. We'll see you again.